Hi everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mafalda, Mafalda Crafts, and today I have a very, very long update for you <laughs> because I'm going to show you my 2021 finishes, my whip parade, and my stash. So the video is going to be divided into three parts. I just filmed the Portuguese version version <laughs> and I think it was more than 40 minutes so I'm going to be here a while so let's start first my 2021 finishes the first uh, project that I finished is called Night Magic and it's by Riolis this is a kit that my sister got me for Christmas in 2020 and the size of it is 10 by 30 centimeters. It's stitched on a 14 count black Ada and it has 9 colors. I started on 28th of December in 2020 and I finish it on January 21st of 2021. The second project that I finished is a diamond painting. It's called Sweet Purple and it's from Diamond Art Club. This is a round diamond, it's 42 by 49 centimeters, it has 37 colors plus 2 ABs and I started on December 24 of 2020 and I finish it on January 26 of 2021. And it's it's gorgeous I really like to make some more diamond art club kits but they are so expensive <laughs> but the quality it's, it's amazing I will show, I don't have anything framed, but once I have, I will show them again, just for you to see how they look like. Next I have another Realist kit, it's called Pair of Wolves. And this is one of those that I want to hang in my bedroom. This is 40 by 40 centimeters, 10 counts Ada with 16 colors. I started on August 19 of 2020 and I finish it on February 5th of 2021 and it has a lot of detail for 10 counts Ada it's gorgeous the next one that I finished it's also from Real Leaf and it's called Dreamland Cushion This one I won in a sale that they were doing at the time on their Instagram I believe and this is 40 by 40 centimeters, 10 counts and it has 28 colors. I started on September 30 of 2020 and I finished it on March 24 
of 2021. It's supposed to be a cushion, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> we'll see. The next one, <clears throat> it's also a Rioli's kit. It is called Love. The size is 18 by 10 centimeters, 14 count aided with 10 colors. It's so cute. I started on March, March 15 of 2021 and I finished it on April 22, 22nd. 22 of 2021 a lot of 20s <laughs> and it's so lovely my next project it's a cell a free Christmas cell which I'm not sure if it's still available on Facebook but I am going to leave the link anyway and it was created by Marty Stitches. She has a floss too, which I'm going to link. She, I don't think she's posting any videos at the moment, but I'm going to link her anyway. I started this one on December, somewhere in December of 2020. And I finish it in August 31st of 2021. I took a very long time to finish it because at the time I did not have the 310 to complete it. But it's done now and it's very cute. I wanted to frame it to hang it on the wall next to the Christmas tree. Yep. My next finish it's a a latchuk kit. It's a rug that I got from Etsy. I don't think the the shop is open but I'm I think I'm going to put the link anyway. And the shop was called Mushkra 70. This is called Tree. And it's very big. <laughs> I think a lot of you remember this one. This is 61 by 87 centimeters. It has 14 colors. I started on March 13 of 2021 and I finished it on September 18 of this of last year 2021. Um, I still not have the backing for it so I wanted to get some backing. I have to sew the extra canvas as well but once I have everything finished I'm going to show it again and I'm going to show you how it will look like I wanted to put this on the kitchen entrance from the outside of the kitchen but once I have it finished I will show you again my next project is a Christmas ornament by Dimensions. It's called Santa with Bag Ornaments. I got it from 123 Stitch. It is on a plastic canvas. And I don't know how many colors there are on this because I 
at the time I didn't write the colors. But I back it up with a little, <coughs> sorry, a bit of felt that I had. This is currently on my Christmas tree. I just took it out to film the videos. So cute. And I started on I don't know if I said it on February February 12th of 2021 and I finished five days after on the 17th it was very quick to do <clears throat> my next finish it's the last finish that I have it's a tapestry market kit called Moon Fairy. It is printed. Well, it's not printed now, but it was. It's 40 by 50 centimeters, 11 count Ada, <clears throat> and it has 15 colors. It was very easy to wash off the paint. It was the first time I did it. And I think I let it soak for about one hour I w and in that hour I would I would change the water but after that the paint got away and it's completely completely cleaned this this one I started on February 24th of 2021 and I finished on December 1st of 2021. So yeah. Now, it's going to be my whip parade, which I do every month. But before I do that, I want to show you something that I won in a giveaway. It is an Evan and Earth Design chart and I won on Ashley's channel. Her channel name... Sorry, my sister just got home so I paused the video. I don't remember where... where, where I was, but I think I was talking about the free chart that I won on Ashley's channel. Her channel name here on Flosstube it's called The Graveyard Stitcher. I'm going to link her as well so you can find her easily. And this is the shirt that I want. This is my first Evan and Earth design. <coughs> it is a QS which I believe it stands for Quick Stitch and it has 90 colors and it's gorgeous and I was looking through my stash and I was very happy to find out that I did have enough fabric for this project and I already have the needle prepared and I made the first square because this is a counted project but I believe that even if I do square by square I'm going to make mistakes lots of them but anyway <laughs> So yeah, and as I'm going to finish my kit, I do have leftover threads and for now I was able to get these colors for, 
for this shirt. So I still have a long way to go, but we'll get there eventually. It's going to look gorgeous. And thank you so much, Ashley. I don't think you watch my videos, but anyway. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to show is a project that my sister is making. It is a diamond painting. It's Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad and she is working on it. This project is from the shop DIY Choose and it has round diamonds. The size is 30 by 40 centimeters and it has 27 colors. She started somewhere on October of 2021. So I'm going to keep showing on my update videos. Um, now I'm going to start with my whip parade. The first project is from Paint Free Crafts called Golden Baby Dragon Icon. This is a free shirt available on their website. And this is where I am. Um, this is made on 14 counts. <clears throat> it has 14 colors. And I started on June 2nd of 2021. Also using the leftover threads. My next project, it's, a, uh, it's four projects. It was from a cell created by Tori. Her floss tube name is Hobby Stories. And we had to pick four angels on Mirabilia website. They are free shirts. And these are the ones that I've picked. So this is the first one. Second. Third. And the fourth one. I am also going to link Tori from Hobby Stories in the description box so you can find all of them easier and my 10 regular whips I'm going to start showing now the first one is going to be Dragon Ball now this this kit is from One Day Saving it's printed the size is 1 meter and 6 centimeters by 56 centimeters it's an 11 count and it has 48 colors and 
this is where I am. I started this project on September 20 of 2021. I really like the detail. And I'm always I'm almost finished with this column. I'm going to start the next one. My next whip it's Wool Fairy from the shop Yes Final. It's printed 40 by 40 centimeters, 11 counts with 21 colors. This is where I am. I believe this is one of the kits that I might be able to finish in 2022. I'm almost halfway there. <laughs> I don't remember if I told you, but I started on August 2021. The next one is a new start called Elephant and it's from VIP Cross Stitch. It's printed 50 by 50 centimeters. It's a round shape, 11 counts, 29 colors. I'm still on the background but almost on the on its ears. So maybe next time we will have a bit more color. Next one is my oldest sweep called Bear Girl. It's from Tapestry Market. Printed 48 by 68 centimeters. 11 counts with 35 colors. And this is where I am. I'm more than halfway done, but still have a bit to go. Maybe I can finish in 2022, but I'm not sure. I started this one December 22nd, 2020. Next one, I thought I was going to be able to finish in 2021 but I was not because last week I didn't stitch that much but I'm almost finished with this one it's called blue roses and it's from new craft day it's printed 34 by 21 centimeters with 14 colors on 14 count and it it's it's almost done <laughs> I started on se September 3rd of 2021 it's so close so yeah <laughs> um my next one it's also very close to a finish it's Elsa from Frozen and it's from Tapestry Market it's printed 104 by 156 stitches 11 count 32 colors this is where I am and also almost finished so maybe in January 
for my next update it will be in February 1st maybe it will be finished as well did I tell you already I started on February 26th of 2021 next project it's our national beauty from tapestry market printed 11 counts 48 by 63 centimeters with 26 colors I started this one on February 23rd of 2021 it took me a while to, to do this part because it it had a lot of confetti but we are almost halfway there my next project it's called golden elk and it's from new craft day printed 56 by 1 meter and 60 centimeters 11 count with 41 colors and I believe this one is one of those that it's going to look amazing when it's finished you already see the tip of one of the doves there's another one right here and I already started on this one and I started this project on somewhere in August of 2021 The next project it's my gear set from Yes Final printed 1 meter and 26 centimeters by 58 centimeters 11 count with 65 colors this is three panels and I'm still on the first one I'm not liking how it's turning out but it's better than last time so I still have to, to wait we already stitch on the birds and I started on se September 4th of 2021 my last project which is the one that I got for today it's dress up queen from tapestry market it's printed 51 by 62 centimeters 11 count 37 colors and this was the one that I made that I use in my latest stitch with me I believe um, I can finish this one this year it's it still has a lot to to be made <clears throat> but it's very it's a quick stitch and I started on March 10 of 2021 and that was my whip parade next I'm going to talk about my stash I'm not going to open the kits but I'm going to put the pictures while I talk about them I do put numbers on on my kits like this 
by the order that I received them, maybe not always, but um, the first kit that I have on the waiting list it's project number 35 35 called dream girl it's from VIP cross stitch printed 68 by 55 centimeters 11 counts and it has 38 colors number 20, uh, 36 it's Pokemon from let me DIY printed 40 by 65 centimeters 11 count with 36 colors I have seen a lady stitch on this kit but I cannot remember who it was but she was halfway done with it and it looks really cute number 37 I call it moon moon it's Sailor Moon with her daughter and it's from Biggest Crafts. It's printed 50 by 68 centimeters, 11 count with 36 colors. This kit is part of a collection. I believe there's more. Uh, number 38, it's Doll also from Biggest Craft, printed 40 by 50 centimeters, 11 count with 36 colors. Number 39, I already talked about it. It's Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad that my sister is doing. So we're gonna go to number 40 called Christmas Gnome. It's a pillow, pillowcase from DIY Choose. It's printed 40 by 40 centimeters, 11 count with 30 colors. Number 41, which I'm really excited to make. It's Kakashi from Naruto and is so cute. From Everyday E-Crafts Printed 48 by 65 centimeters, 11 count, and it has 40 colors, which is a lot. Number 42 it's a diamond painting, which is so awesome. <laughs> I'm going to leave a little clip somewhere. It's called Cliff Tree from New Craft Day. It's a round diamond, 50 by 1 meter and 10 centimeters, and it has 24 colors. Number 43, Doll with Penguin. It's from Outdoor Tide, printed 40 by 50 centimeters, 11 counts, and with 20 colors. Number 44, it's Snowman, it's a diamond painting from Everyday Crafts with round diamonds, 30 by 40 centimeters and 20 colors. Number 45, which is the last one for me, Doll and Fox, also from Everyday E Crafts. It's printed 40 by 30 centimeters, 11 count and 19 colors. And the next one, number 46, it's one that my sister is going to make called Snowman and Bird from Everyday Crafts Diamond Painting with round drills. 40 by 30 centimeters with 20 colors and the last one which is also one that my sister is going to make it's called Christmas Panda from Outdoor Tide round diamonds it's a diamond painting 
30 by 40 centimeters with 24 colors and that was all of the projects that I had to show you um, I this video is a little bit shorter than my Portuguese version for five minutes I believe but my next video is going to be a stitch with me and yes I hope every day every one of you had a wonderful holiday and that 2022 only brings good things to you I will going I am going to link all of the items that I have talked about I'm going to separate it into three parts so it's easier for you to find and on the top next to my personal information I'm going to add the floss tubers that I mentioned Ashley from the graveyard the graveyard stitcher Story from Hobby Stories and Marty Stitches and that is all for me also this is a, a tapestry that I got on my last collaboration if you haven't seen it I have another one and I think my videos look better this way <laughs> But yeah, that is everything for me for now and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!